Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. Welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome to this channel. We are going to do a weekly reading for April 17th through the 23rd, 2023. What a week it is going to be. We got 20th of April, we have solar eclipse. And then on 21st April, Mercury is going retrograde in Taurus. However, Mercury retrograde energies you might be actually experiencing either way before starting and end of no, end of closing because it's quite rather strong. It's supposed to go until 14th of May, but you might actually feel a bit longer till the end of May effect as well. Both um both events actually have bring different energies. But very important both bring in as well is as such take care of unfinished business. So what kind of <laughs> oh this is so interesting um what kind of unfinished business do you have Sedge? okay what is there to be finished what is closed what is the what are kind of closures you need to have either with people or places and faces and events whatever a star it was something very interesting before i actually started to do the reading i was watching the candle uh candle vic and the candle flame went so high and long and it felt like reaching the star. And I was like thinking, yeah, that looks like a star. And what we get here is the star. Is that interesting? There is no such a thing as coincidence, right? King of Swords we have here. Oh, the moon. Very interesting. Ten of Swords. Three of Swords. Sorry, Ten of Cups. Three of Swords. And the sun. Okay, what's this three of swords is about? I want to clarify before I go further. Okay, about money. Okay, okay. Right, Sag, what kind of close, closure you need? What is kind of business not being unfinished? Very interesting. It feels like some of you have packed bags and ready to go. You are right on, on, you're not just the beginning of some sort of adventure. You are right in a journey. You keep going. And as some of you guys, this week, you are really literally, um, you're literally going to touch the star. The star is ultimate, very lucky card. Luck is on your side. Okay. Luck is on your side. And look how she's standing there, really proud and very um inspiring you know like very proud and 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 feeling like i have achieved something but it's things have might not be easy for you okay you might have felt that uh you need this a quite um direct approach quite direct approach you might have done some digging what is that digging about let's see let's see why we have the moon in here Mm -hmm. Ten of Pentacles. Right, it feels like there's a lot of whatever is going on in your life. This is general reading, but what I see feel, and feel here is there's lots about money, lots about your um, wanting to progress, improve your financial status, getting better opportunities, getting better monies in. And it feels like you were kind of, I wouldn't say hiding, but you were really. Um, you couldn't be truly honest with everyone. And there was a reason for it. Because I felt like maybe someone was not really truthful to you. Could be backstabbing. Could be some sort of disagreements, okay? In between. In between the two cards, which is Ten of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. It feels like there was like a family issues in between. Or people who you know. However, the moon has shed some light shed some truth hence you can now see the light with the sun here you can reach the um maybe you you can disagree you can agree that you are going to disagree but it feels like it is a, some sort of family but like family could be various things it could be work it could be uh actual family as such but it could be as well peer group or maybe some group where you're creating something and, and making something together there could may have been some uh Backstabbing, there could be some little bit of disagreement, okay? Someone wanted to take a little bit of bigger chunk of, of the pie or, <clears throat> excuse me, taking the lead of the situation. Hence, we have the King of Swords. There was some sort of little bit of power struggle, maybe so. 
okay? However, the sun has come out on top. It's like a new day. With the new day, there is a new um, light has been shed on the situation and it feels like it's been resolved. But let's go. Let's see what else. If there's still some, let's see if there's any more uh, unfinished business. House. Properties. Power. Southern wealth and courtship. Okay, an occupation. So this is definitely regarding money and um, it could be as well. Some of you guys might have some sort of inheritance that are coming because this is a card of inheritance as well, right? Some windfall coming your way. And of course, when there is money, it brings the various sides of people out as well. And this Southern wealth feels like, look, this there could be money, there could be inheriting a status, right? Um, maybe at work, someone left, you know, for whatever reason, you getting that promotion or ever, a lot of people like you are looking for that place and wanting to fill it, right? Hence, there is a bit of backstabbing going on. So, but it feels like you have managed or it needs to be managed very um, fairly. And um, yeah, it feels like it's going to work out. It really, really feels like it's going to work out. Um Fairness. Why I'm hearing fairness? It feels like the, the King of Swords as well is a consultant or um, lawyer who is maybe making sure that everyone's getting the, um, even, even pie. Look, we have the Clover Tower and the Rider and the Ring. Okay, so wow. Okay, so commitments. You might be signing some sort of documents here, and where you putting your name down and you agree on to something. But it feels like for some of you guys, it's really, really a great and beautiful week because you're leveling up. Rider is like the new level, new status. Either this is through getting that extra cash or this is like through extra opportunities that are coming your way. And this is absolute abundance. It's a manifestation, okay? So whatever you have tried to manifest, it's coming to light. It's coming to a form of money, house, great opportunities um getting monies in and so yeah it feels really really good even though you had some sort of um, issues may maybe someone power struggle or backstabbing or some sort of disagreement but it feels it gets resolved it feels it's going to get resolved through courtship as well okay you are not on your own in this world and nor is dave as well wow knight of swords action it feels like you're going to take some some action plan here. Right, Sag, what else we have for you? Two cups. So yeah, I feel like, yeah, twos. Uh, it feels like you are going to reach agreement. Either this is legal or this is relationship-wise. Maybe some of you guys actually marrying into money um, or meeting someone who is quite well off. You might not be even actually aware of, okay? And they might not wanting to completely show off and such. But it feels like it's a very good uh, place to be. You're very lucky this week. I have to say, uh, there's a lot of beautiful openings, openings coming to you. And look at these two ones. This person is standing on top of their castle, right? Very steady. Look at the one that's right, digged in, you know, drilled into their place. You feel very stable. Everything's going for you. And you now have even option. What's next? And it's not just about out of... Uh, out of necessity it's out of you would like to it feels like some of you guys maybe actually are tying the knot hence we have the ring okay and it's good timing and the tying the knot could be either just getting married or getting a new job or signing some sort of documents even moving house as much or place and it feels good it feels actually has very good grounded energies Positive, 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 positive energies. Right. So, what else we need to have a look? Sag, that's what else we need to have a look. If this resonates, Sagittarius, press the like button and subscribe. Page of Cups. I feel like, guys, you are planning some sort of... Mm. And the moon again. Interesting. I feel, guys, you are planning. Why well, I'm seeing you writing a book or telling the story, the whole and full story. 
it feels like you are very um motivated you are planning some sort of long term either this is with the person or work you are planning something ahead but you are keeping to yourself tables are turning and it's a good timing hence we had the tower here it's a good timing here uh with the virgo here as well it's interesting and no and pisces it feels like you are uh playing a very clever game okay but do not limit yourself okay do not limit yourself it feels like um with the two pentacles here you are performing there's a lot of your name and your life currently it feels like us on the stage everyone's watching you either this may be because it's social media or not but it feels like your name is in in many many households at the moment a lot of people are talking about you and hence you may be feeling that you maybe need to keep things to yourself but it's some interesting opening happening and it's not going to be revealed to you straight away it will be step by step by step but it's something to come with your um, creative side something that will fulfill your creative uh, side not just money but this is some sort of either your hobby your writing creating something and it could be some kind of bonkers idea something a little bit niche you know hence maybe you are keeping it to yourself and why not right before i go i want to see what universe gods and angels would like to say to you what kind of message they would like to say to you right now strength oh i'm just here straight away god give me strength god give me strength look how is this person is holding the hand out kind of um taking the grasping the energy as if like praying as well it's a card of leo but hence we have the sun here as well but it's a card of growing personally and professionally and molding yourself into something bigger and better god give me strength all right my lovelies that's all i have for you have a blessed week and i'll see you in the next reading take care Ta -da.